G'day folks, Michael from Doom and Darkness, bringing you the second instalment in the Paul Conti slash Anthony from Sandal Center inspired drive to work video. So I'm just gonna go off on another water run at the moment. And um, I thought maybe we're driving into the sun. It's morning, you guys can see it a little bit better because I know last time it was um, probably pretty average, but uh, I, I probably wanted to talk about um, the hobby in general over all this time it's just going to be an unfiltered shit and talk from my brain to my mouth to your ears so um please forgive me but something i've been thinking of a lot lately is um whether or not i am a fake hobbyist um whether or not i should ever even ever even be in this hobby for the in the first place um mainly because lately I have really, I'm really struggling to enjoy probably the hobby aspect of the um, of the game and um, of Warhammer. So, what I mean by that is that I enjoy buying um, Warhammer. Right, that's like retail therapy. I enjoy collecting my army. I enjoy list building um, a lot. Um, these sorts of things, I suppose, uh, take up quite a lot of hobby time. You know, you're always thinking about this sort of stuff. You're always looking for good deals. Um, you're always building new lists, building your armies, talking about them with your friends and, and that sort of thing. So, you know, that takes up a fair chunk of um, hobby time. Um, I like building the models um, for the most part. I probably get sick after about 10 or 20 of any of the same model or if it's a a big chunky thing, you know, like a monster. I probably only ever really want to build one of those in most instances. So I don't mind, um, you know, putting the models together and, and I, I particularly enjoy building one box of something. You know, like if I get one box of concussions, you know, it's just two guys and build those, I, I really like that. If I get one monster and I, I build that, I really like it. If I get, um, you know, you know, Volkai Berserkers, I really enjoy that. But I, I hate doing like 30 of the cunts. Um, I, I just don't enjoy it and um, well I enjoy the first 10 and then after that I feel like it's become a bit of a chore um, and then we get to the painting aspect of it and um, if my whole army could be made up of individual boxes so like 10 plague bearers and 10 marauders and then you know 10 clan rats or something like that and that was like a le legitimate viable sort of army um, to be like that then I would probably be happy and really enjoy the painting side of it. But especially at the moment, um, I've got to go around this water again. This, um, the Land Cruiser obviously just blasts through that sort of stuff. Um, no problems at all, but it'll rip the, rip the tracks up a ton. And um, there's some pretty big ruts there from the trucks in the past. And um, I don't want to just keep making them worse. That's not how to friendly coexist with the, uh, the station owners. Um, so yeah, if I could just get like one of each different type of unit that I liked and then I built that individual box at a time and then I painted that unit and then when I was done I went and got the next one, I, I would probably enjoy doing that but I don't think that would make my games very enjoyable because of the meta and the friends I'm against and um, you know, you put all that effort in, you just get smashed. I, I, I don't, you know, at the, the end point of doing all of this hobby is um, for me is to play the game and have a fantastic experience while playing the game. And while the, the game and the army or whatever might look visually appeasing, so you could tick that box, um, you know, it wouldn't be, it just wouldn't be a very good game. So that's terrible. And, and to be honest with you, you know, when you've got your friends and, um, and they want to have a game of Warhammer, they really don't want to say, oh, well, I know I'm playing, I'm going to have a game my one game in two weeks is gonna be against Michael and he has the shittest list in the world. And so in order to make this game even remotely fun for both of us, I'm gonna to have to bring the shittest list in the world and not my one tournament list I wanna play with. Most people would just play against someone else and you know, be able to test their, um, their, their, their tournament list and have like a competitive game you know, with all painted shit as well. I think that's probably more enjoyable for most people. So. Um, yeah, so I'm sort of at this point in my life where I really am struggling to paint like almost anything. Like I can, I'll get halfway through my Varangard, like do a little bit of them, do halfway through my Varangard, 
and then um, and then I'll stop and I'll be like mm, no nah, I just I just I just know that to start doing all this painting it's just going to be such a time consuming long effort and especially on models like Varangard where they do have so much detail and they're such gorgeous models and you want them to look good uh, sort of like well I, I don't even want to start it because I know that um, that it's going to consume so much of my life just fucking getting it done and I don't know about you but my wife always busts my balls for the amount of time I spend in the hobby you know building models painting models playing games making YouTube videos that's another layer of you know my hobby and podcasters and uh, YouTubers and stuff that um that you need to take into account it's not only do we have to paint our stuff for the games but then everything that we we do and whatever we we make a, a video about it as well um I actually think that that's probably oh you know making videos and um doing that sort of stuff is a part of the hobby that I enjoy the most obviously that's why I sort of do it because I, I like doing that sort of thing but um so it makes me sort of think I'm like well hang on Michael if, if you don't like even like even building models like I've got two um iron blasters at home which I've bought off people and they're kind of in like they're semi-built you know so they're almost done it's really just take a little bit of effort to glue you know the 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 rest of the bits back on um but I really can't be fucked. Like, I actually want to pay someone else to do that for me because I'm just like, I don't want to start this, this, this activity does not particularly seem fun for me. Now, I love Warhammer. Um, I really do. Um, I love playing it and I love so much about it. But at the moment, maybe it's just a, a segment in my life. I'm not sure. But um, I just can't be fucked doing the hobby you know the hobby side of it is um is killing me so i'm i'm pretty fortunate i guess where i'm in a position where i can get stuff commission painted um and i think that's an important aspect of it i mean sure if i wasn't making videos and stuff i could invest that time into painting and doing these things instead but it's it's probably just like a, a time equation you know i have x amount of time and um when you add the channel and you know some other stuff I'm working on um, into it you sort of end up thinking well you know something's got to give right and it's probably going to be your family or it's going to be um, hobby hobby so I think hobby is what it is but I just wonder like if you have someone who doesn't build models doesn't paint models right but he just plays the game whether or not he should actually be in this hobby you know that's why I start to question because there is no doubt that Warhammer is not just about gaming. You know, uh, two thirds, I think, of Warhammer is um, is building the models and painting the models. Um, I think that's such a large portion of it. And um, and so I start to wonder. Well, hang on. If I'm not doing that, or I don't really want to do that. Or maybe I just build them, but I'm not painting them or whatever. Um, why am, am I in this hobby for the right reason? Maybe I'm in this hobby for the wrong reasons. I don't know. It's just some sort of things I've been uh, I've been thinking about. So let me know whether or not you feel the same way. Like whether or not you really struggle with the hobby. And you know, I I just um I don't really have that much interest in it. Like even when I'm watching and consuming content, right? I'll listen to all the podcasts. Um, podcasts that talk about rules, about units, how they work, about tournament results about different lists I really enjoy that sort of thing but I really don't watch any hobby content either um, you know there like when I open my YouTube it's just spammed with painting tutorials and hobby tutorials and you know everyone is got their own stuff but they're all doing the same thing I mean much of the same could be said um, about battle reports and um, listening to stuff about tournaments it's much of the same thing but I, I kind of find it's the opposite um, you know so if I want to learn how to paint something um, I'll watch Duncan you know just real simple do this do that put an edge highlight give it a wash done and um, and that's about the extent that I, I very rarely ever watch anything else um, sort of hobby and painting wise so you know, I don't consume it, I don't watch it, I, I don't have any interest in watching it. Um, 
and I hate when <laughs> I actually hate when content creators um, you know that make both types of content they make games and stuff they make you know um, talking stuff like Warhammer Weekly or whatever and then um, and then you know all content I enjoy and then I hate it when they put out painting content I'm like damn it give me something that I, I want to watch not you know this sort of stuff but um, that's yeah so that's that's that topic I guess I've got my Stormcast painted and I think they're back now. The guy sent them back to me, um, but I've been out here, so I'm assuming they've arrived when I get home. Um, they just need the basing done and um, I think maybe a bit of a touch up because I had the guy paint them in a, uh, a white or an Orthron grey um, colour scheme. They're like, you know, the Celestial Warbringers or Harbringers or whatever they're called, not the Celestial Vindicators, they're turquoise. Um, but they're the white, white and blue guys, so I've always liked that um, that colour scheme. So I've got this army back, and actually, this is the army that I bought in one night to prove a point. I was playing against Colin with his Stormcast, and it, it just seemed like his Stormcast were doing everything. You know what I mean? Like he's like, oh well, no worries. I've got a two-up armor save against that. Well, I've got a three-up. Well, these guys do mortal wounds on a six. Oh, and a plus one to hit as well. Now nope, these guys shoot and the bows explode into multiple shots. Yep, that, well, I can teleport these guys across the board. And I was just, you know, like one thing after another, after another. And um, I was just thinking, fuck, these guys, these units, everything, they're just so strong. Um, and so I sort of said, I said, Colin, if you were going to build and just buy the perfect Stormcast army, right, with a bit of everything, like not, not some skew list, but just a, a, the strongest, well-rounded Warhammer army, what would you get? And you say, well, I'd probably have like 10 of these, I'd probably have 10 of those, 10 of these. And so as he was saying it, I was just literally buying it on eBay. Yep, no worries, I dropped about 600 bucks um, that night while we were playing a game. Um, just, yeah, you because know, I just wanted to sort of say like, look, you know, I can, anyone can just drop money now and get that full army. You know, if you're, if you've got the cash, um, and you want to be a strong gamer, um, you can just go, oh, yep, jump on eBay, bam, I've got my whole change host. You know, you can netlist, you can just go on the internet, find out or a tournament winning list, and then just go on eBay, and bam, 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 you've got the, the whole thing. Um, and so, anyway, so I, I sort of bought all these Stormcasts and that variety, and uh, they took me a while to build them. They were sort of like my little filler I'd get sick of building one thing and I'd go back and build a unit or so of Stormcast and then put them away but um, they were all built and they're just like a grey army sitting on my shelf which is terrible and I knew that with everything you know with building Slanesh, collecting and painting Slanesh and stuff like that um, I was just going to struggle to ever get around to do the Stormcast. They were actually one of the armies that I wanted to play that uh, I wanted to paint the most um, I did paint up, you know, one of the, the Lord Celestin, and um, he was a real joy to paint. I really enjoyed painting that model, and I, I was really looking forward to it, but um, I didn't want them to, to play with for anything significant. Like, I just wanted them for all casual games here and there. I wasn't going to take them to any tournaments, so I, you know, I'm not going to have really any interest in running them as, like, a full-time army. So I didn't want to invest my painting time in, in painting them. But... Um, they're going to be back when I get home and um, I'm thinking I'm just going to have to finish off the basing and uh, give them a run, maybe a couple of games. Um, so I think that, that'll that be coming up. I've got my Slanesh done as well. Well, it's to a point where you know I can play with it. I've got a, a battle report yet to make, but um, I... One thing I have to say is I fucking hated beyond belief two units of 30 demonettes. I thought this was just absolute trash. Um, well, I, I just hated moving that many models and I don't care if I think in my head it's a better and a stronger build and I need two, two hordes or two big units in order to be competitive for objectives and, and tar pits and this sort of shit. Not that demonettes are a very good tar pit, but 30 of anything will slow something down enough. I just don't give a fuck anymore, like, no matter what, I, like, I cannot take, like, Fire Slayer, so I've got a Fire Slayer army as well, I know I'm jumping around a lot, but you'll get my point, um, I've got a Fire Slayer army as well, and it is not three units of 30 Volkite Berserkers, I cannot imagine anything worse 
than playing a warrior kin band with you know three units of 30 volt kites i would rather shoot myself in the fucking head i don't see the fun in collecting that i don't see the fun in painting that and having like majority of your army just the same shit i don't see and purely the point of like i'm gonna buy this because it's competitive to play to a tournament makes me want to kill myself surely there are other armies that you can take that will be competitive in a tournament that aren't just mass spam of the same shit, you know what I mean? Um, so I've got my fiery fire boys at home, um, and it's one unit of 30 Volkite Berserkers, and then I've got Hearthguard and Auric Hearthguard and, um, and a bunch of characters and stuff like that. But, you know, I've got some guys with the Grand Axes, I've got some guys with the Flaming Poles, I've got some guys with the Shooters, and, um, you know, I've got some Magma Dross, I've got some guys on foot, and everyone sort of everything I'm reading and hearing, everyone with Fire Slayers is just talking about fucking um, Volkite Berserkers, and I'm just thinking to myself, Bleh. like, it's so unoriginal, it's so boring, it's so not like, you know, those little fat baby dwarves, naked baby dwarves running around on the board. Anyways, I guess my point is, is the same with the Demonets, you know, like, I couldn't think of anything worse than just moving the Demonets around, those three units of 30, and, um, and even if I think it's better, so I'm just going to have to drop them out and get Hellstriders or Slanesh, not that Hellstriders or Slanesh are bad at all, but, um, you know, I'll just have two units of five of those, and then one unit of 30 Demonets, I think, um, because playing with the Slanesh was really cool, like, ooh, it was like a... It's like, like being a surgeon with a scalpel, you know, this guy's going to pile in, this guy's going to pile in. Keeper of secrets, nice and sneaky, pile in from eight inches away, minus one to hit. Um, he did some cool damage, you know, piling in twice. He did some really cool stuff, and then, of course, one round of shooting and he's dead. But, um, so I've got a little bit more work to do on my Slanesh as far as um, getting Hell Striders, getting them painted, and dropping out the uh, Demonets before I'll, I'll really play with them um, that much because, yeah, I just, I just, I enjoy them. I, oh man, oh, I have to say, those fucking chariots, those um, exalted seeker chariots, they are the bomb. They are amazing. I can't believe it, man. They just slide around the board sideways most of the time because that's where they've got their widest base and, um, slide around the board just sideways slamming into shit and um you know you can even like you always think oh yeah this is going to be real killer against a, a massive unit and yeah it is but it's also just good if you just slide it into you know three or four liberators um you know your odds there you're going to roll two fours or so and do you know two to three mortal wounds on the charge then plus what you do in combat they're more than capable of just charging into small units and absolutely obliterating them as well. So, um, oh, hey, kangaroo, you bastard. There he is. Uh, I probably can't see him, but that's okay. It's probably that same one from yesterday, um, hanging around the same... Oh, I wonder what he's lurking around that fence for. Uh, he has, certainly has no problems going over it, I can uh, guarantee you that. But um, here we go. Some more sheep for the, uh, the corpse cart. Drive over that corpse. It's fucking delightful. Um, yeah, so I think while my mixed chaos, because I'm done with Iron Jaws, um, oh, I'm not done with them. I, I'm not done, 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 done with them. I've got, um, you know, my two more crushes, and I've still got all my brutes, and I've got about nine pigs. I sold six because I'm so bored of running a gore fist. It's ridiculous. Like, I've been running a gore fist since GHB 2017 pretty much came out. And, um, you know, now everyone's just running a gore fist and it's just boring as batshit. Um, you know, you can get sort of 10 games into the gore fist and then you go, wow, it's a bit of a one trick pony, I, I think. And a lot of people don't, um, don't expect it, but I, you know, I, I don't really see the, the fun in it that much anymore. I've run it to death. So Iron Jaws will go back in a box for a little while. Um, and I'll try some different things when I, I get them out again. Um, they'll probably be my fallback for CanCon, I have to say. Like, if I get close to CanCon and um, nothing's built or nothing's, um, you know, ready, then I can just pull them out of box and 
take them down, that'll be alright. These fucking gates are like, when you first come to them, they're the trickiest shit in the world. Fucking cocky gate. I remember the first time my boss said, there you go, go get that gate. And um, fuck, it took me ages to work out how to close it. But yeah, so I think um, my next few games when I get back, just while I build my CanCon list, might actually be um, Stormcast. Just for a little bit of fun, just a handful, so don't panic and freak out. But um, it'd be cool to have some games with them. And like I said, there's no fucking Aether Strike, there's no Vanguard Wing. I might do Skyborn Slayers for fun because of course I've got Decimators. I got Decimators before it was cool to have Decimators, folks. Um, because I think they were, I think they were good before the hashtag Horde meta, which probably doesn't exist that I've seen so far. But um, yeah, I think they were cool before then. I'm gonna just gonna go now because trying to um, do this gate up and hold the camera at the same time is fuck. So that's it, folks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.